Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising, welcome to your September 2024 predictions. What do Cancers need to know for September 2024, please? Cancer coming out strong and really fast right away for the month of September 2024 is that Cancers that this resonates with, you are meant to release any final inner insecurities that you are holding on to because what the guides are saying is that there is a shift happening for you, specifically Cancer, if this resonates for you. As always, take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and please let me know in the comments below if any of this message does resonate for you. But they're saying that you are going to step into quite a big transitional frequency coming up in the back half of this year. So September through December, maybe even a little bit beyond into 2025. And it is very imperative that you release anything that is holding you back that you can recognize at this time. So really working on some self-reflection work this month of September, 2024 cancer. So you can let it go, really recognizing that you are so powerful and you are here for, it sounds like some really big things. And so by letting go of these um, insecurities, you're actually going to step into something bigger. And this something bigger may transition, it seems over the next few months. It's not going to be something that's rather quick, um, but they really desire that you start to work on releasing any insecurities. Thank you. What else does Cancer need to know for September 2024, please? Going the distance. Okay, yeah, Cancer. Confirmation if this first message resonated for you that you will be doing something that requires you to really kind of hunker down, build a strong foundation, stay focused, stay consistent. Um, it seems as though the uh, your efforts will pay off. Now, once again, assuming that you've released any insecurities and are ready to actually go on and do this. Thank you. What else does Cancer need to know? September 2024, please. Cancer, it's like a game of hot and cold. I'm like hearing the words very good. You're getting closer. And so maybe some of you are... I don't know, Cancer, what are you doing that's rather, it's, it's like a game of hot and cold, right? So when you get closer, there's a hidden object or something, it's like you're getting warmer, you're getting warmer, you're hot, you're on fire. Or if you're cold and it's going away, you're getting colder, you're getting colder. And so what is it that you're doing in your life that you're working towards getting to this hotter space, right? Getting closer to the goal, getting closer maybe to discovering something, creating something. Now, if this resonates for you, um, it kind of goes back to this first message around your insecurities because they're saying, very good, you're getting closer, you're getting warmer. Now, continue to release cancer. It is really important. And if you need help with that, recognizing that the root chakra really is in charge of our fearlessness. And so when we're activated and balanced in that root, we're moving forward in a more bold and confident way towards our goals. So if you're struggling with insecurities, really creating boundaries, implementing those boundaries, and healing your root chakra will be very, very beneficial for you in the month of September 2024. Thank you. Let's switch out the message for Cancer September 2024, please. What else does Cancer need to know? Why are you always doing it like that? Oh, Cancer. Interesting. Now I asked to switch out the message. message. So for some of you, this is a new message. Let's look at it as it relates to this kind of conversation we're already having. There's something that you're doing the same way over and over and over and over again, Cancer, and it needs to stop. When you stop doing something the same way over and over and over and over again, you will change your reality. Okay, so for those of you that are really working on this something new, um, perhaps really expanding outside of yourself, coming down, looking at yourself from above, observing your own energy to figure out where there's some patterns in your energy that are creating you to kind of create the same reality. Now, for others of you, it was almost like a little bit of a judgment from somebody and it felt like somebody intimately related to you. So whether that's like a family member that's close to you or your partner, your lover, your best friend, whatever, uh, it felt a little bit judgmental and you're kind of like, cause this is who I am. This is my vibe. And you, you don't really know where the energy is coming from. It felt like a little bit fast and harsh and kind of out of the blue but it's almost like you're sick and tired of explaining yourself, if that makes sense, Cancer. So if this resonates for you, permission is granted to just stop explaining why you do something the way you do. Now, if it works for you, keep doing it. In the first part of the message or the first way that we looked at it from a, uh, the first perspective is if it's not working for you, then let's switch it up. But if somebody's judging you for doing something that feels very natural for you and that feels like something that you're meant to be doing and it's working for you in your reality, then let that go. 
Um, it might be that that person is maybe imprinting some of their own securities insecurities onto you, maybe um, a little bit jealous of you in some way, but we don't even need to go there, Cancer. We know how energy works and we can just send love and compassion to that person that has judged, um, recognizing that when you do that, you actually release that energy, kind of break it off and it doesn't affect you. Thank you. What else does Cancer need to know for September 2024, please? Oh, Cancer, it's my party and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> cancer, that was so out of tune. I'm so sorry. They make me sing and I just do it. Um, why? What's going on? Okay, it, it could go back to this first message around kind of being judged. Um, it really feels like it's connected, Cancer. So are you doing something that you're celebrating, but maybe it doesn't feel like a celebration, or perhaps you're meant to be celebrating something, but instead you're crying about it, literally crying, um, or maybe metaphorically you're a little bit saddened or maybe not as excited as you should be recognizing cancer that if you do need to cry it is a good release and i will never suggest that somebody does not cry if you need to cry that is your body releasing cortisol and really letting it go so please let the tears flow if you need to um but maybe they're happy tears right and in that case that's really beautiful too thank you what else does cancer need to know for september 2024 please <laughs> It's okay, Cancer. Um, I'm trying to remember how the song goes. It's a freaking weekend, baby. About to have me some fun. Um, it's a freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. Okay, so Cancer uh, seems very separate from this crying message. You maybe you need to let loose a little. Um, the beginning of the message, we're talking about insecurities. You're doing a lot of inner work, um, but don't forget cancer. And those of you that are cross watching for a cancer, it is so imperative that you kind of give this like, um, celebratory energy along with this inner work energy, recognizing that it's important to celebrate the wins, whether they're small or whether they're big. And, um, you would do yourself, um, some good by having some fun on the weekends by taking some time to relax if you are somebody who is on a spiritual journey and you've been very consistent and consistent and consistent and maybe your mind is kind of going all over the place maybe you're too much in your uh, mental energy then ground yourself down on the weekend go spend some time in nature go spend some time by a body of water um, specifically for that cancerian water energy and really allow yourself to have some fun because the journey is meant to be fun right? There is the healing portion of the journey, which is a little bit more challenging. And then you move into the self-love portion of the journey, which is a lot of fun because you're finally just fully accepting who you are. And that's beautiful. And then you move into the truth seeking journey, which is a lot of fun because you're like, wait, what about this? Oh, well, what about this? So it's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. Go have some fun cancer. If you need to, especially if you've been working very diligently towards something, recognizing that when we honor our energy fully resting when we need to having fun when we need to and all the in-betweens that is when we are the most empowered thank you any final words for cancer september 2024 please i chose to be happy you and i were like diamonds in the sky oh cancer this is very lovey power couple energy you are choosing to be happy. My whole body just got chills when I said that. Cancer confirmation from God, source, universe, creator for September of 2024. If this resonates for you, amazing. You are choosing to be happy. And as you rest, as you radiate out, excuse me, as you radiate out happiness, you tap into friendships, relationships, beauty, love, harmony, uh, this powerful energy where you really are like a diamond shining in the sky. Cancer, what a message for September 2024. Holy cow, you guys are moving and grooving this month and it sounds like through the end of the year. As always, if you're curious about your own energy, make sure to get a Your Soul's Purpose report outlining all the strongest energies in your chart plus an intuitive reading from me on what I believe that your soul came here to do in this lifetime. And if you wanna know every single thing energetically about yourself, then just go for the gusto and get the Know Thyself Birth Chart report today. At this point, it is 35 pages all about your energy, analyzing your birth chart, what I believe you came in this lifetime to do, your potential life challenges, love, money, business, career, your planetary placements, your aspects, how to transcend out of any negative potentials and literally